So I'm going to be showing you how to build a simple and efficient automatic AFK Zero Tech XP farm that's working the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft 1.17. So the building materials that you're going to need to build this automatic XP farm is a bunch of building blocks of your choice, 4 chests, 6 sand, 2 smokers, 2 glass panes, 2 slabs, 2 sticky pistons, 2 pistons, 6 hoppers, 1 lever, 2 buttons, 1 redstone repeater, 5 redstone torches, 10 redstone dust, and 2 water buckets. So what you want to do first is you want to find an area where you want to build the XP farm and you want to dig down 3 building blocks. And then do the exact same beside it. Then what you want to do is get your chest and place 2 down there. Then get your hoppers and place them on top of the chests. Then you want to get your 2 smokers and place them on top of the hoppers. Then on top of the smokers place our 2 hoppers. And then we want to get some chests and place them on top of these two hoppers. And then on top of the chest, what we want to do is place two hoppers on top of it, just like that. Now to access the chest at the bottom, what we want to do is we want to dig a lot wee staircase. So we can easily get down to the chest down here. So it should now look like this. So now what we want to do is we want to build a redstone clock in the left hand side of the farm. So come to where this hopper is. Miss a block, but in this block here, destroy it, then place down a redstone torch, and then place a building block on top of it. Then get a redstone repeater, place it like this. It's really important you place the redstone repeater this way, or else it won't work. Destroy this building block beside it, then get a redstone dust and place it inside. Then get a building block and place it over the top of it. Now as you can see, we've now created the redstone clock. Turn it off, just place a lever here, and turn it off for now. So now what we want to do is we want to come to the back of the farm and we want to destroy beside this building block here four grass blocks just like this. Then we want to place two sticky pistons here and then we want to get a redstone and we want to bring it around just like this so we connect to the sticky pistons. So the next step is to get our sand and we want to place two sand in front of the two sticky pistons we've got here. Then, where the extended bit is of the sticky piston, we want to place two sand on top of it, and then an R2, just like this. Then get the building blocks of your choice, place two here, and another two here. Now we'll fly around slowly, so you can check to see that you built the farm correctly. So make sure you've got your hoppers all funneling in the correct way, your smokers, you've got your lever and your redstone clock, you've got your sand the correct way. You've got the redstone power and the sticky pistons, and you've got your building blocks here. So now what we want to do is we want to get a redstone torch and we want to place it in the side of this sticky piston. And as you can see it will get powered off. Now what you want to do is get your building block of your choice and place it on top of this redstone torch. Then on top of the building block we've just placed, get an our redstone torch and place it on top. Then get an our building block and place it on top of this redstone torch. And then what we want to do is on this side here, get your redstone torch and place it at the side here. And as you can see, it will get powered off. Now get your building blocks of your choice and bring it along two blocks, and then two blocks at the back here. And then get a building block and place it on top of this redstone torch that is powered off. Now what we want to do is we want to get our pistons and place two, just like this, in front of the sand. And then we want to get redstone dust and place two here so it connects into the pistons. So before we go any further with the farm, we want to make sure that our farm's working properly. So turn it on by pressing this lever here. And as you can see, the sand will be alternating back and forth like this, and these pistons will also be moving back and forth. If it's working fine, just turn off the farm. If it's not working, then you want to look over the steps that we've just done to make sure you've done them properly. So now what we want to do is we want to enclose this area here because we're going to be placing water in a minute and if we don't enclose it properly then the water is just going to destroy our redstone below us. So on the right hand side here, get your building blocks and place 3 and then place an R3 on top. Now we're going to be doing something similar on the opposite side. Place a building block here and bring it forward 3 and then place an R3 on top. Now what we want to do is add the roof. So place some building blocks along here. Although above the sand we want to get two slabs and place it just like this and then we can place building blocks around the slabs here. 
so it should now look like this. So the next step is now to get our glass panes and we want to come over here and we want to place them on top of the hoppers. Now this will ensure that none of the kelp gets out the farm and it will all get funneled into the hoppers. So now we want to come up to the slabs and we want to waterlog them. So place your water bucket on top of them. And then what we want to do is get our buttons and place two just like this. And now we want to get our kelp and place it in the sand. So now what we want to do is we want to come to the front of the farm and just come down the staircase here. And then destroy these two blocks. And then place a building block here. And then place a lever on it. And do the exact same on the opposite side here. Place down a building block and put a lever on it. So how the XP farm works is you just want to turn on the lever here. The piston will alternate back and forth harvesting the kelp. The hoppers will pick up the kelp funneled into the chest which will then be funneled into the smokers. The smokers will turn it into dried kelp which if you have the hoppers unlocked it will put it into this double chest. The more dried kelp in here you have the more XP you'll get. So once you've got the double chest full then you just want to lock the hoppers. You don't have to have it full but you'll get the most XP if you have it full. And then you just want to individually take the dried kelp out, the smoker, and you'll get lots of XP. Now because you have lots of dried kelp, you can use blocks as the fuel to smelt the kelp. So I've left the XP farm running for about 3 minutes now. I don't really expect to get that much XP since the double chest is probably barely filled with dried kelp, which it is. But what you want to do is when you're satisfied that you've got enough dried kelp in the double chest, just lock the hoppers open up the smoker and individually take the dried kelp out the smoker and as you can see you'll get a bunch of XP I got one level there and then I just got another level there and as you can see you do get a lot of XP but you would get a lot more if you had this chest full and eventually once you've taken quite a lot of dried kelp individually out the smoker you'll have to empty this whole double chest and let it refill again to get a bunch of XP again from the smoke cart by individually taking it out. So to prevent your XP farm from breaking, don't leave it running when you leave the area or leave the game. Because what will happen is the sand will fall through and the water will come out and it will start destroying all your redstone. So make sure you turn it off when you leave the area or leave the game. And if you find that the kelp is breaking at the bottom here, then it most likely means that you built it in a chunk border and the only way to fix that is to pick the whole entire farm up and move it somewhere else and hopefully not in another chunk border. I hope you found this Zero Tech XP farm helpful and if you did please like and subscribe and if you have any questions at all just comment them down below and I'll do my best to reply to them. Thanks for watching.